So now that we've got the perfect view of the side, we're going to start by drawing a little rectangle rectangle at the base at the back here. So I'm going to go over to the line tool. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on there and pull out by three millimeters. So I'm just going to type three, enter. And then I'm going to go up by 10. So I'm going to move my line tool up, type in 10, one, zero, press enter. And we're going to draw, obviously join that up. So I'm going to draw across, click and pull down, click. So I've drawn a little rectangle there. Okay. If you start moving it around to have a look, that's absolutely fine. But just remember you need to go back to the scenes tool, click on that and then click back on that, that one at the bottom and it'll take it back to being like that. So we're going to draw that little box, that's 10 by 3, going from that corner, so 3, 10 mil, 3 across, 10 mil down. And now we're just going to draw a bigger box, which we're going to use to construct our basin. So this line from here, click here, I'm going to move out by 40, 4, 0, enter. And then we're going to move down by 70, 7, 0, enter. And then we're going to kind of kind of cross by 80. So again, pull out the line like that so it's elastic. And type in 80, 80, enter. And then we're going to go back up to this red line, which is 70 again. Click. And obviously we're going to draw across to here, which is 11, and click on that point. So we should have two boxes like that. Now you can see that this one is see-through, so what we need to do to finish that off is to get the line tool and just draw a line from this point, pull it across and click there, and that will make that like a solid piece of paper. So that is what you should be looking at at this point. Like I say, please repeat this video if it doesn't look like this, but we've got the measurements of 10, 3, 40, 70 going down, and then 80 across and it should look something like that. And so you've drawn your template out.